The artboard is the canvas on which we do all of our work. When we create a new Rive file, we're prompted to create a new artboard and pick its size from a list of presets. However, I'm just going to use the default size 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And here it is. As you can see, it's currently selected. I'm just going to click over here to deselect and you can reselect your artboard by clicking on its name right here, or you can select it from the hierarchy. The artboard is always at the top of our hierarchy because it is the parent of any layer that we put inside it. I can rename the artboard by double clicking on its name here, or by double clicking on its name in the hierarchy. With the artboard selected, we can go over here and see its properties. We can change the artboard's position, its size, and also its origin. The origin property is currently set to 0% by 0%. This puts its origin up here in the top left corner. So when it's set to 50% by 50%, the origin is now in the center of the artboard. I'm just going to set it back to 0 by 0 and go up here and create a shape layer. As you can see, if I move my square to the edge of the artboard, we can still see the entire shape. However, in the artboard settings, I can go up here and turn on clipping. This lets us clip any layers that we have within our artboard so that they don't appear outside the canvas. We can toggle clipping on and off. But remember, when you come to eventually export your Rive file, the only things that are actually going to be rendered are the things within the borders of your artboard. Down here, I can change the artboard's background color. As you can see, it's a solid color. However, we can change it to a linear gradient or a radial gradient as well. If you don't want a background at all, you can hide the background like this, or you can delete it entirely. To delete the artboard itself, simply select it and tap delete. You can create a new artboard just like we did before, or you can use the shortcut A for artboard and create a new artboard like this. You can tap A again to create another artboard and another and another. You can create as many artboards as you want. Here I have an artboard with an animated circle. If you want to duplicate an artboard, simply select it and tap Command D. This will duplicate everything inside your artboard. All designs, all animations, and all state machines. To select a different artboard, simply go to its name and click on it. This little icon up here tells you which artboard is active. So when I select this artboard, this is now the active artboard. Another option to select a different artboard is to go up here in your hierarchy and choose the artboard name from the dropdown. 